Welcome to the Gary Abbott Watch Review. This is the YHE Smartwatch Blood Pressure Watch. It actually has blood pressure. It'll take your blood pressure. And it not only will do that, you've got to see this. This is a inflatable band. This inflates with air to help get you the blood pressure and uh, it has different watch faces it keeps track of steps it can keep track of heart rate um, steps all the normal things that you would want uh, it also turns on by the flick of the wrist uh, and there are different uh, watch faces that you can pick let's go to the watch faces display you can control the brightness. So you can have a face like this. Now, this is not your typical smartwatch, really is not. It's definitely a smartwatch that you got for blood pressure monitoring. $259, I got this watch. It's not available anymore. And I would tell you that it took some getting used to. Some people showed that it was much easier um, <clears throat> than it was uh, for me. Now, I've always had trouble with uh, cuffs and other things, and I needed to start taking track of my blood pressure. Um, I wish there was a way to keep this on, uh, but I've taken my blood pressure quite a bit, and I've gotten varying results with this. Um, no more, I actually think it's been better than the wrist cuff that I've been getting. Um, it, it, it clearly, I've had some terrific numbers and let me tell you why I've had terrific numbers. The terrific numbers have come about because I had a heart attack and I needed to go on meds and I needed to see how the meds would work. I wonder if I can put the display... I need to set this display. Screen timeout. Uh, yeah, here we go. We need it to go at least 20 seconds. So now we can kind of get a good look of. And so you can change this display. And you can move along to your heart rate. You can see what your pulse is. Your blood oxygen level is. For these health reasons, this is an excellent watch. And I used it a lot more. I actually used it with sleeping. And let's go to this HRV. I found this really useful. I'll have to show you in the other app, but it's a, it's a line chart. When you sleep, there'll be scattered dots. And it helps tell you if you have sleep apnea. Uh, I do not. My uh, dots were kind of around this line and evenly distributed. But if they're not, uh, you need to probably check out to see if you have sleep apnea. Um, I'll show you there is a companion app that goes with this on my phone. I will show you that. But it does have workouts. So you can have walking, treadmill, outdoor running. These are the three that I highlighted on mine. There are more exercises that you can do, but you kind of tailor the watch uh, to what you want to do. You can check your heart rate and you can see the high and low of a given day. It really is a good watch. Um, I do like when you put this on your wrist you must put it, and I'm going to show you where I put this. It gives you what you get in the box is a measuring tool. And you want it much lower than your regular. You want it closer to this, but not too close. And when you go for this, let's just go. Um, oh, I don't want heart rate. I want to go to blood pressure. And what you do is you start, and you see how the example, 
you put your hand like up on a box or something or a bottle to be level with your heart, you don't put it up against your body. And what you're seeing now is it's inflating on my wrist. This bladder is inflating to get my all my information. Now it's probably not going to work very well because I'm not holding still. I'm moving the wrist around to show you. It's a little gets a little dirty, um, but uh, I bought this because I needed a way to see where my numbers are at, and it really does. Uh, this is very intriguing to me. Now, because I moved it around, it said, no, wasn't good enough. You need to hold it better. I'm going to do the bottle. So what I did is I did tighten it. I got a bottle here to put my hand on. And sometimes it takes a couple of tries to uh, get it. It's not perfect, but I never was good with the uh, wrist cuff. I'd have to take like five readings to get one good one. And then am I really cheating to get the one good one? Now, this time I can feel it. I can feel the, uh, the inflatable band happening right on that wrist portion on the inside. Let's see what I get for a reading. And there we go. I got a 125 over 73. Probably about right with the activity and what I'm doing. But if you want a blood pressure watch, I highly recommend this one as the best that's available. All the other ones I've ever tried were electronic. Did not give you what I get here. Uh, and this tells me the, uh, as you can see, blood oxygen, battery, we just went from 40 to 39, and my pulse is about 79. So I'll do a few uh, clips of the, um, of the app, but uh, yeah, the YHE Smart Watch is definitely Something to consider if you have a medical condition that you need to take your pressure um, and your blood oxygen level and you want to continue to see your heart rate. Yeah, I recommend this watch. Um, I think it's the closest that's available. I don't see anybody else coming out with anything. So again, it's the YHE smartwatch blood pressure watch. I got it off from Amazon. Uh, I just tried to reorder it to see what it would look like and it uh, is not available so let's just take a quick look at the app and uh, so the app is called the BP doctor and uh, let's take a quick look at this um, it just loaded in uh, from the watch uh, my blood pressure uh, it loaded in my heart rate that I also took I didn't take my uh, blood oxygen. Oh, tells you a little bit too much about myself. You can schedule alarms. You can do some other things. You can set up your profile. Let's go to the BP. Let's go for the year. Okay, so there you can kind of see a week of recordings. Uh, it gives you a summary but it can show you any individual one, like that was a 125, that was a 110 over 67. It averages out to 126 over 73. And this is in the middle of doing uh, some other things, um, working out, going to the gym, doing some other. But it gives you a recorded summary of each one, as you can see. So, yeah, as a blood pressure monitor, this does more than your average watch. It will keep track. It'll tell you when you've got elevated and when you've kind of gone beyond. There's no doubt that, uh, you know, I've learned to use this watch and how to 
really uh, set up and take the blood pressure mon monitoring. Um, I would definitely recommend this uh, this watch, and uh, if you've got any kind of medical issue and you're looking for some kind of solution, it's maybe not as easy as it seems with some other YouTubers. It'll take a little... You'll get some bad readings like I did. I got some super high readings at first. I was fooling around with how to test it, how to sit, how to hold uh, the wrist uh, during the readings. Once you get the knack of it and you feel comfortable that you're getting good comparable readings, uh, it really works. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is definitely my most medical watch and I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching.